Happy New Year to all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This new year you are going to will be better than the last year we have just gone through in every area of your life. It is a year of divine fulfillment. You know, in the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah 1 verse 5, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the mother's womb, I sanctify thee, and I've ordained thee to be a prophet unto the nation. To you, I want you to know that you are created for divine fulfillment. You are not just here to go through the world, grow up, have children, marry, and probably build houses and get a lot of business. That is not just enough. You are specially created for a divine fulfillment. You are created to fill a space in God's divine plan. And so you are very important to God. This year is the year of your divine fulfillment. And no one can stand on the door of what God wants to do in your life. Right from this January to the end of the year, I want you to begin to assume what God has created you to be. I want you to begin to feel it in your heart. I want you to begin to feel it in the things you do, in your plan, in your arrangement, and as you move into it, God has already said you will fulfill your destiny. And that is what God wants us to speak into your life this year, 2023. As you move in the month of January, God is beginning to fulfill that which he has ordained in your life because he's bringing it to pass. You may not have gone into it, but this year is going to be wonderful for you. This month of January is the beginning. God is sowing a new thing in your life. God is making a new foundation. The foundation that will prepare you to what God wants to fulfill in your life. I am saying by the grace of God that this year 2023 is your year of divine fulfillment. You are going to fulfill in your home, in your marriage home, in your education, in all other areas of your life. You will not lack any good thing that God has ordained in your life. None of the things God has ordained in your life that will not come to pass. And any weapon from against you shall not prosper. I speak God's fullness into your life. You are going to rise in your wisdom. You are going to rise in your knowledge. You are going to rise in your prosperity. That your prosperity is not just what you struggle to do. It is already an ordained institution in your life that you will prosper. He has said in third John, I wish above all things that you prosper. That means, I wish above all things that you get fulfilled. Fulfilled in every area of your life. Wherever the enemy is trying to limit you this month, God is going to shake up every foundation he has not laid in your life. And you are beginning to see the light of God shining in your life. In every area of your life. In your home in your family, in your marriage, in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Amen.